And welcome back, guys. We're going to be playing some more Starfield. Make sure it's the like button, make sure it's the subscribe button. Hope everyone's having a happy Halloween, and let's get into it. Is this city meant to inspire or intimidate? What? Perhaps it depends on your reason for being here. Carapace encrusted tanks. Hence the new scanning protocols. On our watch, no heat leech enters this city. Understood? Understood. All right. Let's get out of here then. Hey. Yeah? Can't say I have. When you work a job like this, you see so many ships. They all sort of blend together. Look, I'm just a port worker. My whole life would fit into one of these boxes. I've got nothing to hide. Now, if you don't mind, I got work to do. And if you do mind, tough. about that cargo ship for ages. Beginning to think he was ignoring me. That's the problem. I don't really look at the ship names when I work, just the ID number granted for clearance. I think it was uh, UC-576B. I do know it's a cargo class transport, if that helps. The way the crew handled the cargo, they were being way too delicate. The manifest said they were carrying potatoes, but I don't know what was in those crates, but it certainly wasn't that. Okay, thanks. I'm afraid I'm not at liberty to discuss the details of my division's work. The fewer people there are thinking about Aegis on a daily basis, the easier my job is. That I do, Captain. Sergeant Yumi said you'd be coming to pick it up. You've got good timing, too. I actually have a friend on a classified star station who sent me this list of potential smugglers the other day. Here you are. Given I owe you for the last job, I hope it serves some use.
That's right. Classified station, top secret projects, etc., etc. And from what my intelligence tells me, you've already been on board that station, Captain. So you don't need me to fill in the details. Yep, every ship on that list has a route that goes through New Atlantis. Not surprising, given we're the biggest port in town. And if they're smuggling stuff there, you can bet your ass they're smuggling stuff here. We're the intelligence arm of the United Colonies. Think of it this way. You see security responds to threats. It's Aegis's job to anticipate and prevent them. It's been a play. Sure. Found those smugglers yet? Is that right? Do you know the name by any chance? See you later. How's the investigation going? Is that right? Do you know the name by any chance? Captain Enjai's ship. I think you might have hit the mark here. You had reports of that crew being less than professional on several occasions. Still, being a little rough around the edges isn't exactly a crime. Are you sure it's the right ship? Then the next step is searching their cargo for any smuggled contraband. And, as luck would have it, I believe the Anansi has already arrived at landing pad B. I'll make the call to have the ship detained until further notice. Your job is to board the ship locate any illicit goods and return them here. And if any of the crew puts up a fight, I trust you know what to do. Good luck.
always a satisfying moment. If you are free soon, could we talk? Yes? You need something? You with UC security? My suggestion? You turn around and pretend you saw nothing. You're barking up the wrong tree. Just get off the ship and tell us the boss Looking for something? Well, it looks like you got me, officer. I guess this means my potato shipping days are numbered. But maybe you'd be willing to give a first-time offender a slap on the carpal bone. I don't suppose you're interested in a deal? Fine. You've made your choice. But now, you'll have... You're not supposed to be here. Always worth checking. Never know what you might find in their pockets. I have... Things I wish to discuss with you. How's the investigation? How's the investigation going? Good work. Did you find anything? Very well done, Captain. Time and time again, you come through for us. Initially, I felt bad for having someone of your rank doing security, but frankly, you're worse than guilt. In any case, I'll have a team move the ship off the landing pad and do a full sweep. Make sure there's no other surprises on board. Oh, and before I forget, your payment, it's well deserved. Ah, if it isn't my favorite part-time... The whole department is in the process of recovering, myself included. If I'm being honest, 
I still have nightmares of my team turning on one another. Things can be replaced and wounds can be healed, but building back that trust in each other is going to take time. Luckily, we've built a good culture here, and we hired some new recruits who were inspired by what you did. I've got faith we'll survive this. Good timing. We just got word of a disturbance over by the Nut in the Embassy District. A vandal, it seems. I've already dispatched an officer to the site, but they probably could use some support. Talk to the officer, get an update, and interview any witnesses involved. Thank you. Normally I wouldn't waste your time with this captain, but a functionary over at Mass reported the crime. You'll be thrilled to know that a captain of the Vanguard is on the case. Never. This isn't neon. I'm sure the graffiti there is part of the normal decor. But when something like that happens here, it tends to stick out. That would be Officer Noita Markinen. She's one of the recruits that joined up shortly after you started. A lot of newer officers look up to you. I bet she'll get a kick out of working this case with you. See you later, Captain. Nothing worse than having two witnesses with conflicting stories. And you're certain that's what you saw? Oh yeah, he was wearing a flannel shirt underneath a trucker jacket. Hmm, that doesn't match the description from the functionary. And you said he was running away from the tram? That's right. Oh, and he was carrying a book, A Tale of Two Cities. Okay, just hold that thought one moment, sir. I need to speak with the captain. Sure. There's a reward for this, right? Information leading to the capture? Sir, just give me a moment with the captain, please. Thanks oh, for taking this case, Captain. I help. realize your time is limited. Ah, Sergeant must not have spoken to you yet. I'll debrief you. This was supposed to be a simple case. We got an attempted vandalism, a knocked over bin, and a witness who called in to ID the suspect. We were about to head down to the well to apprehend the guy when this new witness comes forward with additional info. Just one problem. His story conflicts with the functionaries. Yes, ma'am. I was the one who took the call and reported it to Sergeant Yumi. Normally, we don't give this much weight to tipsters, but when it's a masked official, we tend to take them at their word. Uh, 
Well, we got two witnesses with conflicting stories. So I'd like to go interview Functionary Gershon in person. Their office is at Mass, in the Interstellar Affairs Department. Affirmative. And as the higher-ranking officer, I'll let you take the lead, Captain. Captain, can I just say, it's a pleasure to meet the hero who stopped the Terrimorph invasion. An officer Markanin, was it? I see you're here as well. Is there something the matter? We just need to go over your testimony again. I apologize, but I can't right now. I have an important meeting I need to attend. But I'd be happy to stop by UC Security later and speak with your sergeant. That wouldn't be the best use of your time, Captain. It's far too valuable. I have a much better solution to help you along in your case. I encourage the both of you to check the information on my personal computer. I have written a detailed description of the Vandal, Wantahir Vala, a known criminal who resides in the well. It should have everything you need to apprehend the thief. Now, if you'll excuse me, Well, Captain, what do you think? Is what the functionary said true? Is this kid from the well our vandal? I trust your instincts, Captain. Gershon said he hangs out at K's, right? Let's go down to the well and arrest this perp. Speak for a moment. It is a relief to know that the Terramorphs are being dealt with. I wanted to tell you that I think you made the right decision. The microbes will ensure this is not a problem for much longer. Yes, it sounds as though the microbes will be quite effective. Although, it may be taking a chance in a different way. D do you think there's a chance there could be unintended effects of using this untested microbe? I admire your confidence, and I do hope you are right. And, I must say, I find it curious that you would agree keeping the Lazarus plant around is a good idea. It seems an additional, unnecessary risk. I'm afraid I do not share your optimism. If it exists, there is a chance it will be used as a weapon again. I find it even more concerning that the United Colonies will keep this information secret. They have enough power already. They do not need this in their arsenal. Well, it is good to know that this particular threat is behind us. And you have done a service to all who live in the settled systems.
I've got limited resources, but I try not to turn. We're no rely. Can't say I'll have what you need. Yep, you got. That's so. Think folks down here are too poor to afford electron. Yeah, I get that kind of attitude far too. Long. Take care. Think about the trade, trade authority does quite well guess. for itself, though.
clearly they share little of the credits Pleasure they make. With you. The Trade Authority has access... Of course, of course. Need anything else? You know where to find us. You need something? Hey, long time no see. Still doing work for the House of Enlightenment? Yeah. I saw that side of bacon with you when you rolled up. Can't believe you're running with the bad guys. All right, Vala, that's enough. We're bringing you in on a UC-594. Vandalizing. Is this some kind of joke? What the hell is she talking about? What? I haven't been topside in ages. Your choice. Well, it would seem that the game has bugged out. I kind of love it when they do these updates and they break more things than fix things. Or maybe the character here is speaking to me. It's saying I'm in a conversation like, Hello? Can't reload the game. Alrighty, one moment. Let me see if I can fix it.
I love Starfield. It's just moments like this when you're enjoying playing a game and the game cucks up. <laughs> it's, um... It just ruins the immersion, honestly. I'm hoping by reloading the game that it'll get us unstuck from the other. I'm gonna guess that my companion started talk to me, talking to my character or something started talking to the character while we were going through the elevator that we were supposed to sit in on. And it didn't give clear instructions that we have to sit there and listen to whatever conversation was going on. I didn't say conversation, did you? I don't know. Hey look, it fixed its... Nope, 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 it's still... broken. <laughs> Alright, I guess we're worth loading. Um, well, isn't that fun? So, if your game ever bugs out like this, go over, stop your game for Starfield, and you're gonna pray that you have your last save. <laughs> It's going to be one of those days. Of course, it's going to happen today. <laughs> so, right now I'm reloading Starfield. And we're going to go to the previous save. And that's what we're going to do to correct this problem. Uh, I would recommend saving if you're loading into a new area and you're about to do some kind of dialogue to always save. You never know if it's going to cuck up like this. Okay, sometimes they bet the five star. Yes, I wanna load the save. Let's go. <laughs> Keep trying something. If one thing doesn't work, try another. Game crashed. <laughs> uh, all right, let's try this one more time. I'm gonna reload Starfield, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into previous saves, and we're gonna load the one beforehand. So that's how we're gonna try to fix this. Um, but yeah, if you encounter something like this, just reload your previous save, the save before the current save. This way. You know, yeah, completely screwed, you know? Yeah. yeah, I've never seen a game breaking bug like that before, though. That's pretty game breaking. Alrighty, uh, fiddling around with this. I've deleted my first top one. I'm now gonna try and load this save. Uh, doo -doo -doo. This should be a good save to load in. Hopefully this fixes it. If not, well, I guess we're going back to another previous save. <laughs> I'm gonna guess that I had to sit there and listen to them argue before going up the elevator. That's so what I'm gonna guess what happened is the game's like, hey, you haven't heard the victim talk to the officer in a negative way. I can't let you go up the elevator. I'm gonna guess that's what happened. Right, looks promising. So, of course, I'm gonna make another save here. This way we don't get screwed over. <laughs> Alright, we got two saves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey! Oh, I don't like where this is going. <laughs> Especially with that side of you. The bacon at your side. 
All right, Vala, that's enough. We're bringing you in on a UC-594. Vandalizing. Is this some kind of joke? What the hell is she talking about? What? I haven't been topside in ages. Always say your choice as if I've got one when you got a gun pointed at my face. I take it that means you're coming peacefully. Don't worry, Captain. I can take it from here. Feel free to report back to Sergeant Yumi and let him know the Vandal's been arrested. So that's exactly what happened. So, what caused the bug where we were stuck in the elevator? Well, I thought this NPC was about to arrest the person without making me do this dialogue that we're seeing here on screen and exactly what happened. So if the thought that has to design this where, hey, you are not allowed to go for the elevator until this person or NPC does a dialogue with you, you know, this would have prevented our game from bugging at home. Yeah, so that's what happened here for those who are wondering, oh, why were you stuck in the elevator? We didn't talk to the NPC after... It said his dialogue to the uh, victim. <laughs> Pleasure was all mine, Captain. All right, Bala, move it. Ah, Captain. Functionary Gershon was just complimenting you on your police work. I just wanted to make sure the Captain was receiving their just due for the exemplary work they're doing. Speaking of which, did you manage to catch the perp? Kid from the well, right? It's a tough situation. A lot of people in the well are just trying to find a way to lash out. You shouldn't make excuses for them, Sergeant. They're loathsome criminals, every last one. The functionary has very strong feelings about the well. But we still follow the rule of law here. Even this vandal will be given a fair trial. Of course, given the captain's record, I would venture this case is all but closed. Sadly, it looks like it's going to be the last case you work. With all the new recruits as of late, our staffing problems are no longer an issue. Which means we've exhausted our need for a part-time security officer. Likewise, Captain. We have your position filled, but not your shoes. On behalf of the entire UC Security Department, I wish you the best of luck with the Vanguard and your future missions. And uh, if you ever need to talk or reminisce about the beat, I'll be here. Alrighty, well, that looks like a good place to stop. Make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button. Uh, I got to teach you, hey, if your game bugs out like this, go to your last save, do something different, see if there's some dialogue playing. If there's not, try the elevator again. If it bugs out again, sit there next to the NPC. Screw around and find out. Just screw around. We found out we missed some 
um, dialogue content that basically prevents you from going up the elevator or continuing out of the area. So, anyways, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you subscribe button. And it's always a fun time playing a game and finding out things that should be done first before going up the elevator. Eh. Anyways, I'll see you guys again soon.